Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Here's your question for the day. There are some musical phrases I cannot play no matter how much I practice them. What can I do? This is a really good question and I'm very glad we have the opportunity to work on the answer and explain why this might happen. Now, in my understanding, there are three reasons that might stop you from being able to play those phrases and we will examine them one at a time. Number one, memorization. You might have a difficulty in memorizing difficult phrases, which means that the problem is not with the actual playing of the phrase, but is with its memorization. Now granted, this is less usually the case, more often it's something else, but we will examine this first. The solution here is to memorize this in very, very small pieces. So, if you have like a long phrase that's a hundred notes long, you practice them at maximum four notes at a time. So you learn the first four notes, you practice them. And then you learn the next four notes, you practice those four notes. Then you put the four and four together. Now you have eight notes, eight notes, and you practice those eight notes. Then you learn the next four notes, and this goes on and so forth. I wish there was an easier way to do it, but actually this is what is universally accepted as the best way to memorize something. So if your problem is memorization, just remember this basic principle. Learn it in very small chunks. Sometimes even four notes might be too big of a chunk, so you can go down to two notes or even one note at a time. There is absolutely no shame in that, there is no problem with that, just do whatever you need to do to memorize this thing in small pieces. Now let's move on to possible problem number two. You might have some fundamental problems in your playing that are not letting you learn those phrases and perform them well no matter how much you practice them. This is way, way um, more prevalent than most people realize because they usually see a master guitar player playing something and they follow the music and they follow how the fingers seem to be flying on uh, the fretboard but they never realize that if you're not doing things a specific way they might not be doable at all. Let me illustrate a little better. So for example, how far away your fingers are from the fretboard. If your fingers are playing over here and you're trying to play something and your fingers are flailing, flailing all over the place so a difficult phrase might be unplayable because you waste too much motion. Or for example with your pick. If you're using the wrong kind of picking, a specific phrase might be unplayable. Now both of those things are something that a good guitar coach would fix, but if you don't have access to guitar coaching or something else that happens many cases, even if you have had access and somebody corrects them, those things, because uh, you might be bored in implementing them, you don't implement them, the specific phrases might become unplayable. So what can you do about that? Because the point here is not just to outline the problem, but also give some solutions. Well, you should actually fix those problems. If you don't have access to a coach, uh, you might be able to do it through video or audio and do it yourself. So kind of say like a pseudo self-coaching, but the fastest way is to take some lessons from a guitar coach and he's going to take care of those problems. What you cannot do uh, in most cases is just trick, let's say, the system in any way, because if you have those structural problems in your playing, the, you have hit a wall that you cannot um, go over unless you fix those problems. And now let's move on to problem number three. And this is actually the most usual one. So if you have 100 people and they have failed to play a specific piece of music, the vast majority of those have failed because of this reason. And this reason is the following. Practicing too fast. I wish there was an easier way to say it, but the problem here is your ego. Most guitar players have significant difficulty in accepting that they need to practice something slow when they're first learning it. So they start practicing any piece of music in a moderate tempo and it's kind of, they're kind of forcing their brain to learn in a moderate tempo. However, the brain does not learn at a moderate tempo. 
the brain learns only at a very, very slow tempo. So slow and easy. You, to teach your brain something, you need to play it slowly, clearly, a few times, and then it's learned. If you play it fast, it doesn't learn. Even if you play it many, many times fast. So it's much easier, to, it's much clearer for the brain to do it 10 times slow than it is to do it 100 times on a moderate tempo. So what happens is that most students will try to practice the new material at a moderate tempo so that it reminds them of, of a piece of music. And they never learn it because they never give it the slower tempo that it deserves. So what can you do about that? The rule is stupid simple, extremely simple. If you play any specific musical phrase and you see that you are not able to play it cleanly and perfectly, immediately cut the speed in half. That's the golden rule, cut the speed in half. Then try to play it again. Repeat it for 10 times. If you repeat it for 10 times perfectly, then this is going to be your base speed from now on and start building up from this. If you make even one or two mistakes throughout those 10 repetitions, then guess what? Cut the speed in half. So let's take it to a specific example. If you have practiced something at 100 and you're making mistakes, cut the speed in half, it goes to 50. You play it a few times and uh, you make a couple of mistakes at repetition number eight. So it's not perfect yet. Cool, cut the speed in half, it goes to speed number 25. You practice for a few minutes at 25, it becomes perfect. Then you slowly build up your speed, it goes to 30, 35, 40, it's still perfect. 45, 50, it's still perfect. So now what you, has happened is you built from being at 50 almost perfect to being at 50 totally perfect. And then you build from that. And this is how you practice a difficult phrase, a difficult piece of music. You always cut the speed by half. Now there's a very simple rule that there's nothing you cannot play, nothing, even the most difficult thing on the guitar, if you slow it down enough. If you play like one note per minute, let's say, you can play the most difficult thing that exists on the guitar. So once you're able to do that, all that you need to do is shorten the duration between the notes. And this way, you can build it up perfectly. So there you have it. Three w reasons why you might not be able to play the musical phrase that you want, no matter how much you try. I hope this was helpful and gave you some very specific guidelines on what you can do Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach.